Hello everyone, my name is Sumit Kuhel and I welcome all of you to BSP Self-Running Video Podcast. My today's topic is installing and configuring email router with Dynamic CRM. In my previous video, I have told you how to configure Outlook with a Dynamic CRM or how to configure the Gmail account with Dynamic CRM so that we can directly send an email or receive an email from Dynamic CRM. Today, I will be going to tell you the configuration without email router so that we can directly send and receive email from our dynamic CRM. So for this, first of all, I will be going to tell you that how to, from where to download and how to install the email router on your system. And then I will tell you how to configure it. So let's move on for the downloading process first. So this is a link provided by Microsoft from where we can download Microsoft Dynamic CRM 2012 email router. You can select your preferred language, the language in, in which you would like to download the email router. My preferred language is English. Then click on download button. Then from here you have to choose the edition or the version which you would like to download. So you have to select the version according to your operating system version. So in my case, I'm using 32-bit operating system. So I'm going to select CRM 2011 router i386.exe. If you are using a 64-bit version, then you should go for the first one, the 64.exe. So I choose this and click on next and it will start download on my local system. I'm getting this because I've already downloaded this so if you are the first timer you will get a proper message then you can download and download the setup on your local system once you download you will get a link like this for example as you can see here I have already I have downloaded this one CRM 2012 router and I right clicked on this and extract it so once I extract it a folder has been created like this CRM and if I will open this folder I have the few DLL files and a setup file so now I'm going to install the, I'm going to set up an email router on my system. So I double click on this setup email router. Click on yes. So the, rec the most recommended is you should go for get updates for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So I'll prefer to select this one so that if any file which is missing, it will automatically download it for me. So I go with get updates for Microsoft Dynamics CRM recommended. Click on next. It will check for updates. It will take some, it will take some time for updation. And once it is updated, it will give us a link or button. The next button is highlighted now, enable now. I click on next button. It will do some checkings and all. And then it will take me to the next screen, which is for the agreement, license agreement. I check the license agreement and click on I accept. These are the components which I would like to install on my system so I would like to install Microsoft Dynamic email router service and rule deployment wizard so I'll check both click on next this is a location where would you like to install the email router on your local system it will check the available spaces also if you want to change the location or the address you can click on browse and change the location click on next it will check for Windows operating system version and the router setup so don't worry about this because I have already installed so it is it is requesting for computer restart because I have installed and uninstalled it so it is it is requesting for a computer restart after uninstalling it from the system so it is not an error it's just a warning so I clicked on next again next and it is installing so once the installation is done I will got a confirmation message that the email router has successfully installed on my system so I've got a confirmation message over here. I clicked on finish. So before conf before configuring the email router, we'll have to do some config. We have to set some configuration in our dynamic CRM. So what are the configurations? So let's check that. So I logged in into my dynamic CRM as you can see here. So the settings which we need to do is click on the Microsoft Dynamic CRM icon over here. Click on settings. We try. <clears throat> Is 
is opening now. It's taking time because the server speed is slow. So once it is refer, once it is open in settings, you can go for security. Security. In security, click on users. In users, click on the user available over here. So there is one user on. So I check this user. I click on this user. There are some. These are the details about the user. The and you have to scroll down. You have to scroll down. And look for administration over here. So there are two op two options: details and administration. So I click on administration. And once you click on administration, you will be see there is one option over here: email access configuration. So I I am going to configure the email configuration over here. So I click on mail the name my name over here. It will open the mailbox, basically mailbox configuration. So I open it. And the settings which you need to do is first of all you need to set the settings. Uh, you have to give your name over here. So by default it is already done. So if it is not done, you need to give your email address, your the mail address from where you would like to get the email IDs and all. Then set it to no because we don't want any credentials. We'll be going to set the credentials in our email router. Here you have to set the server profile to Microsoft Exchange Online. Make sure this will be Microsoft Exchange Online. Then the incoming and outgoing mail. Make sure it should be server side synchronization or email router for both incoming and outgoing. And for appointment context, contacts and tasks, it should be server side synchronization. So once it is done, click on test and enable mailbox. Okay. And click on save and close. So the configuration has done. Now we'll be going to do the settings into. Uh, we'll be going to configure in the email router. So to open that email router, click on your start menu, all programs, Microsoft Dynamics CRM email router. Then Microsoft Dynamics CRM email router configuration. Click on yes. Here we have to set the configuration. So configuration, first of all, we have to create a new profile. So I create, I click on new to create a new profile. So profile name. So first of all, my profile will be outgoing. I give a name over here. Direction is outgoing. Now email server type, because I will be going to configure with my Gmail account. So I'm going to use SMTP. It should be clear text. Use SSL. And the server name will be pop dot gmail. Sorry, this is outgoing, so this will be smtp dot gmail dot com. Credentials. Here you have to enter the credentials for your Google uh, Gmail account. So I enter my credentials for my Gmail account. And password and click on OK. So this is the outgoing profile. Now I would like to configure the incoming profile also. So here I select incoming. Give a profile name incoming. Direction is incoming. The email server type it should be POP3. It should be clear text. And the I use want to use SSL and server name will be POP dot gmail dot com. Credentials will be user specified and click on OK. So we have set the two profiles, incoming and outgoing profile. Now I'll be going to set the deployment configuration for this. Basically, this is a deployment which is to associate with an incoming or outgoing email router configuration profile, and uh, we need to we need to define this deployment or we need to associate this deployment with our dynamic CRM user ID or login ID. So I clicked on New over here. Here I would like to configure with my Dynamic CRM online because this is not on my premises. So I check for my uh, Microsoft Dynamic CRM online. Here we have to give the organization name. Now, how to get the organization name of your Dynamic CRM or of your company? You can go to settings, Dynamic CRM settings. Under settings, go to customization. 
in customization click on developer resources uh, in developer resources we have organization unique name so I copy this unique name from here and enter in place of this it is asking for username and password so here we have to provide the username and password for our dynamic CRM credentials so let me log in into my credentials so this is my username so I enter the username over here and password in con incoming configuration it's not an issue set for outgoing configuration and click on OK click on publish has been saved and done so that's all so we have done the configuration with email router we have done the configuration in our dynamic CRM so now whenever a user try to send or send or receive an email using dynamic CRM the email will be routed used through the email router so like this we can install and configure email router with a dynamic CRM that's all in this video if you have any questions you can visit our website or you can send an email to us or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel for new new interesting videos in about dynamic CRM I will be coming up with some new videos in, and some new interesting topics till then have a nice day ahead goodbye